It may not look like it right now, but monsoon season has arrived here in Arizona. Love the monsoon. It officially kicked off today, and it turns out that our storms are large enough to be seen from space. As Team 12's Lindsay Riley shows us, satellites are giving us an out-of-this-world view of these majestic storms. The splendor of the Arizona monsoon is undeniable. These powerful features are not just seen on the ground, but also from outer space thanks to weather satellites. These images are mostly captured by the GOES West satellite. Because the satellite spins at the same speed that the Earth rotates, this is the main satellite that we use to watch the Arizona monsoon in all her glory from over 22,000 miles above the Earth's surface. Depending on the severity of our weather, new pictures are taken every 30 seconds to five minutes. So fresh data is always coming in. During the daytime, most of it is visible, so what you would see with the naked eye in the visible spectrum, but here at nighttime, we're actually looking at the infrared spectrum, looking at temperatures. Satellite images can also show snow and ice, smoke plumes, cloud temperatures, and even wind speed and motion within storms. All that data helps create weather models, which turn into our forecasts. And that's not all. The geostationary lightning mapper records flashes of lightning from cloud tops of a storm. Um, so this gives us a really good indication of the spatial extent of the lightning. Which could help save lives. Water vapor imagery is another type of satellite image. It shows meteorologists where higher concentrations of water vapor is located in the mid-troposphere. This is a known, you know, studied weather pattern that we watch for that can really lead to uh, a lot of widespread flash flooding. Severe storms obliterating... August 2nd, 2018. What started as a typical warm and humid Arizona summer day ended with an epic dust storm bringing visibility down to zero. Besides the dust, strong thunderstorms also developed. Later in the day, you start to get some much more intense and you see how it becomes very, you know, extremely bubbly and kind of cauliflower looking because the mountains are getting more intense heating. They direct more directly face the sun because they're at an angle, right? So I mean, it's just much more conducive for, for the thunderstorms to develop. We're tracking storm damage and what it was like for those inside as the top of this September 1st, 2019, severe storms descended off the rim toward the lower elevations. North of Wickenburg, you can see how the cloud top temperatures get a lot darker there, a lot cooler. This is the actual active part of the thunderstorm. Satellites may be far away from all the monsoon mayhem, but they capture many of the fine details in our atmosphere that help us forecast the monsoon each day. Wow, just incredible video mm -hmm. from the skies. And Jamie, I'm excited that we're bringing back our monsoon meter. Yeah, well, every monsoon season needs a monsoon meter. Mm -hmm. <laughs>